running cards to win this pot, whether well, it's two cards to make a straight or two running sevens. This is a slow train wreck before our very eyes. Put more chips out there. I'm all in. And Tree going back over the top, all in. Now, is there any way you don't call this, Mike? But in my view, Gavork should recognize just with the sound of his voice there that he's got a hand. He's not on a draw here, meaning you could easily get away from the A7. No, it's king. Did your hand get caught in the cookie jar? Mm -hmm. Oh. Did you just make a move on me there? Interesting talk. Mm, you have said. He's going to the old Mike Sexton cookie jar that. line. <laughs> well, Vance, he said he started playing yeah. poker after watching the WPT on TV. That proves to me that he does watch us. The longer you take, the better I feel, so go ahead. <laughs> well, he's right about that. <laughs> he's daring. All kinds of table talk. you got to love this. Dr. Right. Gavork in a quandary. Look how confident Tree sounds. I think as a player, you should pick up on that. And this would be an easy getaway here with this hand, I believe. Ace, no good. How big's your ace? Ace. Oh, I know you have an ace. I'm just asking, like, how big is it? Yeah. Look how confident he seems. He doesn't care if he has an ace. That should put the caution light on right there. I have ace. I call. Oh, wow. Gavork has made the call, and he is not going to like it. Maybe all that table talk got him a call. But as it is, Gavork in dire straits and have to catch two running cards to win this pot, whether it's 7-7 seven, seven, or two cards to make it straight. The Gavork family on the rail, very frustrated by the whole evening. Dr. Gavork could be out of here. He needs to get real lucky. Man, if it comes 8 8, they would split the pot. But right now, things looking very dim for Gavork. Well, there's a seven, so it's not over yet. Now, Gavork shaking his head no, but he got lightning there. If he hits one more seven, he's going to win this pot. Could it possibly come 7 7 to win this pot? He's, I eat this paper if he hits a seven. That's all there is to it. <laughs> oh, wow. No! up that pot. Gavork is going to be our fourth place finisher, Vince. Yeah. Fun to watch him play. What a grinder Gavork is. Going to pick up 450000 for his effort here in Los Angeles. And that's going to do it from the guy from Hollywood, California. We're down to three players. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. Amazing feeling to win the WPT because the world's best play in these tournaments. It never came into my mind that I could walk away after today with uh, 1.8 million. It was just all fun and games. Now we're playing for some serious money. This is a once in a lifetime situation. I'm enjoying the moment, not taking it for granted, and I want it bad. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We are down to three players at the LA Poker Classic. Well, the crowd buzzing right now as we just lost another player. And these three players left are very close in chips. Well, they sure are. Our chip leader is a lone American, Raymond Dolan. He's got a little over 5.2 million in chips. In second place, Andres Korogni from Hungary with about 5 million. And in third place, Tree Wing from Canada with about 4.6 million. And the play goes to Andres from Hungary. First to act, he's got a queen six of diamonds. The lucky player that came out here for a little vacation in the sun on the beach of Redondo Beach with his buddies, took a shot at this tournament, and now could become a millionaire. Well, we've already seen how aggressive he is. He is not slowing down just because we're down to three players. He raised it here to 260,000 for the queen six. Tree wing. He's got a pretty solid ace 10. Well, he knows Andres is a very aggressive player, could raise with any two cards, as he's done here. So what do you do with ace-10? 720. Tree's going to bump it up to 720,000. Well, that's a healthy raise, Vince. Mm -hmm. Nearly a half-million-dollar re-raise here. Next to the line, Raymond Dolan. 
Oh, look at this, Vince. Whoa! Incredibly, oh. has picked up two kings. He's the current ship leader. The pot's been raised and re-raised in front of him. You gotta love it. Two million. Well, he's gonna bet two million. He's not gonna fool around either. He's pulling out the heavy artillery. Andres losing interest, mucks his hand. And I can assure you the tree is not gonna like it here. Not at all. This is a chainsaw to the old he tree went. right here. And he's gonna fold. <laughs> well, indeed he does. So Raymond Dolan extends his chip lead. And that's what's incredible to me is that the three remaining players are playing in their first ever WPT event. That is unbelievable. That Something is. I don't think we've ever seen happen before, certainly in the last couple seasons on the World Poker Tour. It just shows you folks that anybody who gets an opportunity to play in a WPT event can do it. These three guys are fighting for the title. Boy, if this is what happens in your first tournament, you are hooked for life. <laughs> That's all there is to it. You're a lifer. All right, actually going back to Raymond. Picked up King's last hand, a six of hearts this time. He's going to raise it to 300,000. And Andres behind him with an ace jack. Well, every time he's had that ace jack, he's raised it. I don't care who's bet in front of him or what they've done. Good ace. He's going to be consistent. He's raising it here, too. Yep. Looks like a total of 775,000. Tree's got the 711 hand. He gets out. Yep. So we're back to Raymond and the chip leader. Got him covered by about 1.7 million. Just doesn't trust this Hungarian whatsoever. He's going to make the call here with the A6 of hearts. So big pot brewing here. Over 1.7 million in the pot right now. Here's the flop. Oh, flop comes ace, queen, deuce. Both players have flopped a pair of aces. Andres, of course, has way the bigger kicker and is in great shape. Now oh, Raymond's staring him down. See if it does him any good, if he can read this man. Well, certainly. Andres going to make a continuation bet here. 875,000. Be very careful, Raymond. Now, Vince, you call a raise before the flop. You hit top pair. Yeah. Tough to get away from it, especially against a guy like this who could bet on any two cards like he does a lot of the time. Race. And he's going to raise it. Well, going to test the water right here. Test the quicksand, you mean? Well, I don't blame him. Two million. He's going to make it two million straight. Oh, this could get ugly very fast. Please. All in. Yeah. Well, he's going all in here. Yeah, he's saying, you got me beat, you got me beat. I'm pushing it. How much more? Well, it's about 1.7 million more, which is a lot right now at this stage of the game. Recognize how much money jumps from one place to the next from here out. Going from third to second is well over 300,000. And going from third to first is 1.1 million. But you've already put in close to 2.8 million. That's virtually all you can beat here is a flush draw or a bluff. No doubt yes. about that. And the problem is, even if he's got a flush draw, you're not that big a favorite. So Raymond is feeling the pressure right now as to what to do. He does know this guy's capable of anything, but he's got to be saying to himself, you know, would this guy commit all his chips with a third raise with absolutely nothing into the chip leader? I wouldn't think so. But then again, we've seen how aggressive he plays. And I call. Raymond's going to make the call with the two aces. He's not going to like it when Andres turns up his hand. Well, there you see the grimace look on Raymond's face. A massive pot of over nine million here. And Raymond's going to have to get very lucky to win it. And have to catch a six to win it. A deuce would give him a split pot right now. But he is up against it. Well, the ace comes on the turn. So both players have three aces. It's a pretty good card for Raymond in that he can tie the hand with a king, queen, or a deuce. He can win the hand with a six. He'd love a tie right now. Everybody holding their breath. It's all coming down to this card right now. 
A 10 comes off. So Andres has won the biggest pot of the night so far. A monster pot of over 9 million. One step closer to that 1.8 million. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action here on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Three players remain at the Commerce Casino. And right now we have a Hungarian, we have a Canadian, and we have an American. And they all walk into a bar. No, no, they all are playing here at the final table. Mike, and what a contest this is. You know, the American Raymond Dolan a minute ago had a big chip lead here. Now he just doubled up the Hungarian. He is now in a distant third place. Let's see if he can fight back to get back in this thing. Down to the table we go. Action on tree wing. Tree with the button has an ace deuce. 250. And he's going to make it 250,000 to go. Tree, a 32 year old venture capitalist out of Vancouver, Canada. Raymond folds his jack eight, but look at Andres. Picks up a pair of ladies just like that. Yeah, Andres, a poker pro out of Hungary. Says he likes to play aggressive like all the great Europeans do. Raise. He says raise. Mm, how much can you milk from the tree? It's going to make it 700,000 to go. Well, action's on tree here. He's going to lay his hand down. He shows him an ace. Sure. So Anders takes down yet another pot. The guy that came out here to rent a beach house in L.A. Yeah, the funny thing is, when I rent a beach house, I get my wallet stolen. <laughs> These guys win the tournaments. The whole uh, Hungarian poker community is rooting for him. Uh, he would be really quite famous there, so yeah, it's a big deal. <laughs> He's loose aggressive. He likes to put the pressure on the opponent and uh, yeah he isn't waiting for premium hands all the time or stuff like that so I guess he has a good shot to win and Vince the guy we just saw in that interview Anders's buddy Peter he came in 46th place in this tournament himself he cashed out 28,000 seems like a mere pittance compared to what Andres is going to cash out there well this time I'm just picking a queen 10 He's first to act. He has the button, and he says, all in. I'm going to power through this. Oh, wow. Three with an ace three. Well, he's got the best hand, but he's not going to gamble here with it. Will Raymond Dolan with a queen eight? Nope. So power poker there by the Hungarian taking down another pot. Well, it's Tree and Raymond up against the Hungarian. Can they slow him down? We will find out when we return on the World Poker Tour. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. Welcome back to the WPT. We're at the Commerce Casino. Three-handed poker. You can see the chip counts there. Andres Karoknai from Hungary well out in front with over 10 million in chips. In second place, Tree Wing from Canada. He's got three million in chips. And in third place, the lone American, Raymond Dolan, with 1.7 million in chips. That's right. The restaurant manager of the restaurant, come top found cow, fold, folds this hand. Fold in. And now the Hungarian going to go all in with Jack-10. Well, he's just putting pressure on the guy right now. And Wing cannot compete with his nine deuce. So the chip leader applying a lot of pressure, and it's going to work. Uh, power poker at its finest by the Hungarian now. He's got the chips, and he is going to step on these guys. Yeah, knows how to play good shorthanded poker. Action going right back at him. He's got a queen three, but this time, going to take a breather. Give the other guys a chance for a second. <laughs> all in. Tree wing with a queen nine says all in. He's going to try the all in play. Magic words. It's going to work. Raymond goes away. So Tree learning from Andres there. <laughs> he yep. said, look, he went all in on me and won the pot. I'm going to try it here on my guy that's in the big blind. Tree Wing, 32 years old. Born in Vietnam. Moved to Canada when he was five. Very successful businessman and an incredible poker player. Takes a look at his hand. Pair of jacks, just like that. Nice hand. Going to cap his card. Let's see what he's going to bet. He's taking his time here, trying to figure out how much to bet. 
He's got twice as many chips as the...